Hello everyone, welcome to Parents Making an Investment. It is Janelle Stewart here and want to continue our series, small series rather, on receiving. And today I want to talk about receiving God's message. Um, many times we only look and expect to hear God um, speak to us. And that's not always the case. God can speak through anyone. And a lot of times I would like to let you know that he's just amazing that he meets you where you are and he speaks to everyone differently. So even with me sharing my experience with you, or if anyone has shared their experience to, with you, doesn't necessarily mean that that's the way that God will speak to you, but there are those are some of the ways that he speak. And so I just wanna clarify that today, um, that what I'm going to share with you is one of the ways that you know um, God can speak. But underlining all of it is receiving his message. It is important for us to receive the message. Even when we hear it, it doesn't do anything until we have received it. And we have believed that it is for us and it's what we're supposed to do. And God could use many people to um, direct us, to give us the answer that you know we've been pondering in our heart about and to take us to the next place that he wants us to be and and to fulfill the next person purpose that he wants us to um to fulfill in our life and so um with that i remember when my um my first son was probably about seven years old or a little bit younger than that probably yeah probably a little bit younger than that and um we were walking on the street and all of a sudden we realized that uh, we don't even know where we are. And so pretty much that we're lost and we were in another state and um, I didn't know how to get back to the hotel. So he was saying, oh, come follow me. I know where it is. And it was just a girlfriend and I, and I was, and it was late at night. It was like, I think almost midnight and we're walking on the street in a different state and not knowing where we are. Um, and he was just like, oh, it's just down there and around the corner. And then you walk down and I'm like, I am not about to walk down the street. And he's like, I'm telling you, I know where it is. Just trust me. And in all of that, he was very adamant about where the hotel was and for us to believe him. And I pretty much disregarded what he was saying. And I went into another hotel asking for directions. And um, unfortunately, the bell person didn't have no either so much because, you know, just like, um, just like a lot of places, you have people that they, they work, but they drive long distance to go to their jobs. So that was the situation. So then the man offers, um, the concierge offers to take us to the hotel and he's driving around and, and acting like, to me, I got the sense from the concierge that he didn't know where he was going either. And so believe it or not, then my, my son started saying again, I know where it is. If you guys would just listen to me, I know where it is. I could get us there. And so at the end of trying everything else, that's when we decided to listen. And he was able to direct us right exactly to where the hotel was. And his response was like, see, I told you. And I say this to say that God's message could come through our children a lot of times, not just in a situation where you're lost, but even when nothing is nothing is really wrong and um and you don't need like an emergency voice or or you're desiring to hear the audible voice of god they it can happen in small minute ways just on a daily basis um god speaks through our children and it is up for up to us to receive his message in any way that he chooses to speak to us he speaks through the weather 
He speaks through the change in the seasons. And I mean, he speaks sometimes in those things that we consider disappointments. Those things in the situation that we thought was supposed to work out the way we want it to work out and it doesn't. Sometimes that is actually God saying that this is not what I have for you. And that door is closed because I have set another door before you. And I want you to walk through that door because that door leads to abundance and leads to your purpose and fulfilling your destiny. And my will is tied up in that. And so even though he doesn't say that, he says it in his word. And so the plans that he has for us is of good and not for evil. And it's to bring us to an expected end. It's to give us a hope and a future and to bring us to that expected end. So when a door closes, it's not for us to stop and get discouraged and throw in the towel or anything like that. But sometimes it means that we do have to wait sometimes and we have to wait on God and 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 allow him to lead us. And believe it or not, I was talking to a parent on the playground and she just started sharing and I just, I can just, I get this excitement in my spirit and in my stomach and it's just like, oh my gosh. And I see, and that's how God speaks to me. I get that feeling in me, you know, in my stomach. And then I know that it's like, that's him saying, and she wasn't saying anything that pretty much was giving me any direction, but believe it or not, just her talking about him and talking about how sometimes we miss, you know, because of our own mindset, our own mentality. And it's the same thing that I'm saying to you today. Sometimes we do end up missing. We do end up missing the message of God that comes in different ways and different forms because we have that one track mind. We only expect to hear him one way. And it's just amazing. It's amazing how he speak because I am doing a course, a C CFS course. And believe it or not, when I ask a question from um, my older son, and what he said and the suggestions that he made, even though I was asking like, what can I do? How can I go about this? And just the suggestion that he made, I was like, thank you, God. Thank you for using him to speak to me on how to go about this. And I didn't have this conversation with him, but even in your heart and mind, when you're questioning these things and you, and you the answer comes, through somebody else, receive that message because, and believe that it's not the person that has it, but to believe that God has used that person to send the message to you. And so it's up to us to receive the message, not glorify the messenger, but whatever form or whatever way that he choose to send it in, we have to decide that we're going to receive it. And then we're going to do something with that message. And so I'm challenged today and encouraged because I'm going to do something with the message that I've received. And, um, and as small and a little bit that it might seem, you know, um, it can go a long way. And so I want you to do the same thing today. I want you to first receive God's message, whatever way he choose to bring it to you today and days hence um, going forward. Receive it and believe that it is for you. It is for you and, um, and receive it first and then you can walk it out. And so I hope you have, you're encouraged by um, this series today on receiving. And please don't forget to like and to share with someone else that is stumbling over trying to figure out if this is for them. He's not going to give someone else what he has for you. It is for you. And so receive it today. Be blessed and enjoy the rest of today.